Claim seeks $45 million for woman impregnated while in long-term care. Woman accused of pushing elderly man off a Las Vegas bus faces new charges, and a migrant girl who later died in U.S. custody has been sent to nursing homes by refugee agency. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, May 29th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Lawyers for an incapacitated woman who had a baby inside a Phoenix long-term care facility have filed a $45 million notice of claim against Arizona. The 55-page claim lays the groundwork for a lawsuit. The woman's family cites medical records and arguments that she was, quote, violently and repeatedly raped and may have been pregnant before. In December, the 29-year-old victim gave birth to a baby boy, although no one at Hacienda Healthcare had known she was pregnant. The woman had lived at the facility since age three, does not speak or make eye contact, and has limited movement. The claim states that she gave birth, quote, without any pain medication and in a state of malnutrition due to her feeding to being removed because of a noticed weight gain just before delivery to promote weight loss. The Office of Republican Governor Doug Ducey told the Associated Press last Wednesday that it would be reviewed through the claim, which seeks $25 million for the victim and $10 million for each of her parents. Ducey has directed state agencies to bolster project protections for individuals with disabilities in long-term care facilities and improve abuse detection training for employees. Licensed practical nurse Nathan Sutherland was charged with sexual assault when his DNA matched a sample from the woman's newborn boy. Sutherland, 37, pled not guilty to charges of sexual abuse and abuse of a vulnerable adult. He was fired and surrendered his nursing license. Sutherland provided overnight care to the victim at least 800 times, according to the claim. Prosecutors added two more charges on Friday against a woman accused of shoving a 74-year-old man off a bus in Las Vegas in a video that went viral about two weeks ago. Kadesha Bishop, 25, previously faced a murder charge in the death of Serge Fournier, on Friday, she also was indicted on one count of abuse of older vulnerable person, resulting in death and battery resulting in substantial bodily harm of a victim age 60 or older. Witnesses told police that Bishop yelled profanities at other passengers before Fournier told her you need to be nicer to other people. At the stop, Fournier grabbed a cart and shuffled past Bishop in an effort to exit. As the door opened, she pushed him in the back, according to the prosecutor. Police said Fournier landed on his head about eight feet from the bus, and Bishop walked away without offering any help. Fournier died after suffering pneumonia that resulted from his injuries. Prosecutors are expected to ask another judge to revoke Bishop's bail at, the he at a hearing this week. We'll be back right after this break. CNA TV. CNA TV. Memberships have changed over the years. This has been your long-term care news update. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA. CNA TV. <laughs> Don't miss out on any of the great programming on CNA TV. Subscribe today. Two separate nursing homes had been tapped to care for a migrant girl whose 2018 death in U.S. custody was revealed just this week. The 10-year-old died while in the custody of the Department of Health and Human Services Office of Refugee Resettlement, the federal agency charged with caring for unaccompanied migrant children who crossed the U.S. border. DHHS spokesman Mark Weber said the girl came from El Salvador and entered U.S. custody while at a San Antonio, Texas facility in March 2018. She was being treated as a, quote, medically fragile child because of a history of congenital heart defects. He said, following a surgical procedure, complications left the child in a comatose state. She was transported to a nursing facility in Phoenix, Arizona for palliative care in May after release 
from a San Antonio hospital. Three days before her death, she was transferred to a nursing facility in home Omaha to be closer to her family. She died at Children's Hospital of Omaha from fever and respiratory distress. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.